Hey you guys, welcome back to Southern Latitudes. I'm Robin and I garden in East Central Florida and we are on my half acre lot and uh, I have something kind of special. I've been wanting to share it with you all week and um, okay, I'm just gonna show it. Look, yes, this is artichokes growing in 10A Central Florida and this is one of the main ones it should develop a couple more they usually throw up one or two main stalks and then they'll have secondary stalks and as this thing continues to grow taller then they'll even have a perhaps a third layer of uh, different stalks but at this point this is my first one and they're already kind of separating that's kind of when you're supposed to pick them but I don't think that's possible quite yet although you know I'm just learning here all of this is brand new to me and I I don't have anybody to help mentor me through this other than YouTube videos so let me tell you a little information that I do have I do have a few hard facts let's see here's number two nothing's in there yet okay so these are imperial star artichokes and i bought the seed from johnny seeds and um so these are a one year artichoke in other words you start them in the fall plant them overwinter them, overwinter them here in like zones 9 10 and 11 and then uh spring it's uh, the end of april right now or close to it and they should put up artichokes normally you um say like say like in a temperate up north climate you would probably start in the spring put your babies in the first year and then they you know are pretty good size and then you overwinter them and then you're doing this in the, the what they call year two but because we start in the fall here in the tropical subtropical climates um ours don't have to go through that extra year of a process so this again is imperial star but they make a new improved version called tevor t-e-v-o-r and i may pick up that seed next um if if i do i'm not 100 percent certain i will so i'm hoping these will um make it through our hot summer in florida they are in a mostly shade or partial shade situation there i've got to say you know i'm pretty fortunate there's a little bit of first of the morning light coming in from over here and then they get a little bit uh sometime in the midday and that's about it just an, just enough to make the lettuce bold but um, they're getting everything they want. They've been getting uh, a, a little. I did one side dressing of fertilizer. And this one, uh, so I had like a first sowing. Then I had to come back and do like a second or third sowing. So these were like the second. I can't remember if this is a third or just a delayed in the seconds. You know, sometimes you'll have something delayed in a second sowing. But anyhow, there were seven. And in the you know to the finish line there's one two three and then maybe four that will make it we'll just see how many fruit but so far we have one one fruiting right now and uh, we'll just keep our fingers crossed i will keep you guys completely updated on you know what's going on with the artichoke here i'm so excited um it's all brand new to me and I couldn't be happier to be opening up another potential perennial that gives me food um, through the summer and the winter in Central Florida and, and perhaps where you are. I know the people in Southern California can grow this, but I do believe they don't deal with quite as much humidity as what we have. And they also, their nights are a little bit slightly cooler. Um, you know, uh, right now our nights are in the upper 60s, but at our worst, highest point of nights in this, in probably like August, our 
we can go to 76, 78 degrees at night. And then of course, you know, the hundreds during the day or upper nineties with the heat index of the hundreds during the day. Um, you know, so that we've got to be thinking about all that stuff, see how it plays in because, you know, you see something on TV or somebody is in your zone, but not in your state and local area. So this is all kind of new. I did um, find a, a lady who's in North Florida, kind of close to the panhandle, and she was getting artichokes. So I'm very um, happy to have at least a little bit of somebody kind of growing it the way I am. <laughs> so, but that's it. I just wanted to give you a weekend update. I did. <laughs> I wanted to share this special moment with you guys and let you guys know that the artichokes are actually starting to produce. So anyhow, we'll keep you guys updated on all that and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.